Hi, I'm Gohar Vardanyan, and this is an etude by Napoleon Coast for the Guitar Etude series. This etude is all about muting the bass, either with your right hand thumb or by any other means possible. This etude requires you to mute the basses so they don't ring over each other and sound like this. Instead, you're supposed to mute them on the eighth note and have it, have it sound more articulated. It sounds cooler and it's more fun uh, to have that articulation in the bass. Now, to do that, there is a number of ways. The very first one, it's um, what I used most of the time whenever my thumb in the right hand was available. So I would just come back um, to the note that I just played and mute it with my right hand thumb. So here, I'm supposed to mute that A as the index plays. So I just put it on the string while I pluck the um, index finger. Now the next one is a little bit more complicated because this E needs to be muted while the thumb is playing the fifth string. They have the E, and then as they pluck the fifth string, they mute the E with the side of their thumb. And that has worked for me in the past in different pieces, um, when the bass is quieter, um, or when I'm not playing something really fast with the rest stroke bass. So here it didn't really work out because I didn't really feel like changing my hand position just to accommodate that mute. So instead what I did was I utilized my left hand. So as I'm playing, that my thumb is nowhere in a position where it could mute the sixth string and play rest stroke at the same time. Instead, I'm just playing it normal and then mute the sixth string with the second finger here. And all the others, I just come back and mute it because it's not occupied. Same thing here. I'm supposed to play this fifth string and mute the bass at the same time, so I just use my third finger to do it. To do it. Now, the next one thing happens. I'm supposed to play this E A while muting the sixth string. And if it was slow enough, I would totally be able to do that with my left hand and not touch the fifth string. But because of the speed, this was risky because I could accidentally touch the fifth string with the pad of my finger. So instead, I decided to come back with my thumb after playing the A and mute the sixth string with my right hand, but after striking the A. So. a split second where they overlap but when the piece is fast enough you can't really tell so I did um, mute the sixth string with my thumb and then now 
now that my thumb is on a sixth string, I didn't really feel like disturbing it and bringing it to the fifth string, and I muted the fifth string with my left hand. Exactly when it's supposed to be muted, um, and let it ring for the duration of the eighth note. And again. So I'm using a combination of right hand, just coming back and muting the string if my thumb is available, uh, using the left hand by lightly tapping, also just coming back and muting the, the lower string or whichever one is located physically above with my thumb after I play the next note. You just have to be very quick about it. And there's other places where you're supposed to play, for example, the third string and the A string that's ringing that needs to be muted. So in this passage, for example, to play the, eight, the third string next and I'm supposed to mute at the, the same time the, the fifth string. So then you choreograph the left hand to work for you again. So in this case, even though I'm switching a chord at the same time, I was able to switch the chord and touch the fifth string at the same time. So you have... available I use that and if it wasn't I would play really quickly and then come back and mute it I think that's really it um, you have to figure out what works for you. you sometimes you have to slow down realize when you're supposed to mute that bass and see what works a lot of times in the beginning it's tough and then you do it a couple of times and you realize it's just a matter of getting the right feeling and the right rhythm for your fingers to move at that time and they just automatically mute the string for you. Of course if it's a note that you are playing already fingered you can just let go of it and as long as you let go of it silently it'll mute for you without any noise. So I hope this helps you figure out a different way to mute the strings and not only rely on the side of your thumb. And I will see you next Monday with another etude. Thank you so much for watching.